today we're going to be fishing a lake just 45 minutes north of the phoenix metropolitan area this lake is phenomenal i'm sure a lot of you guys recognize it by everything behind me all of the scenery that we got out here it's beautiful but we're out here for a specific reason today we're out here to pre-fish we got a tournament out here on saturday so we're going to be trying a multitude of things trying to figure out where those bigger bass are holding up where they're staging so that we could come out here saturday and do well and hopefully find us a paycheck so without further ado let's get out there and let's go get them All right, y'all, so I'm fishing the South Lake. Tyler and Jesse from Fatback Bait are fishing the north part of the lake, more toward the river. So we're gonna get a pretty good glimpse at the entire lake today, which is nice. I'm gonna start off on this point. I'm using this little quarter ounce spinner bait. So we're gonna rip this around, slow roll it on this rock and see if we can luck out with a couple decent bass on a moving by first thing in the morning. And then once we're done with that, obviously roll over to a jig uh maybe a carolina rig a rig try try some different things today cranking do some good stuff get some work going i do believe that this little sucker is going to catch some fish today obviously we might have to switch it up and add a little chartreuse into that only because the water is so murky but we have a little chatter dog a little chatter bay a little jackhammer i'm thinking I feel to draw these fish in. And we're gonna be moving relatively quick today. I don't wanna to spend too much time on any spot because I wanna bounce around and try to find sections that are gonna be holding not only a good amount of fish, but decent quality fish. So I'll probably give it this next little stretch and then we'll shoot over to another spot. And I'm just trying to roll this thing super slowly on the bottom just so that we can knock all that rock, create a little bit more commotion down there, and try to draw in those reaction bites. Try to get those fish to get going a little bit. And we've had two legitimate bites and I just swung and missed. I gotta make a change up real quick and get something dialed in. Cause this is not looking good. Oh, there's one, there's one, popped right off. That's a good one too, y'all. That's a good one, right when I popped off that tree limb. Dude freaking smacked, smacked it, and that's a good one. Kinda wanna keep him away from the, uh, from the camera. Not a bad fish right there. All right, y'all, nice fish, finally. On that freaking money badger right there. Freaking deadly. I knew we had to get something today on a little crank. Man, that's a very warm fish right there. I literally hung up, popped it off the tree limb or whatever I was hung on, and boom, right away he smacked it. So, you know, just gonna have to uh, really take our time and get this bite dialed in because, man, that was so, so rewarding getting that fish in. Freaking got the juices flowing, y'all. Got it going. It only takes one fish. At first, I was like, no way that's a fish. Until I started feeling that pullback, I was like, wait a second, that's a fish. All right, y'all, so it is nine o'clock. We've been fishing for a few hours now, and it has been an absolute grind. Got a couple bites on the jig, just swung and missed, and then got that one fish on the money badger, which was freaking awesome. I mean, he cranked it, absolutely smoked it and he had a lot of fight to him i'll tell you what i know it's a little lackluster right now hopefully it picks up stay tuned enjoy and let's go get him notice it's starting to uh sprinkle a little bit and the more this storm comes in i'm noticing a little more activity so hopefully that will pay off for us there's one got him got him decent one decent one Ah, he'd be a keeper. I'll give him that. He'd be a keeper. Not ideally what we're looking for, but hey, he choked it. Check that out, y'all. Jackhammer. Freaking, they're deadly. Go to Copper State Marine and tackle. Pick them up. They always get you bit. Man, look how he downed that. Beautiful. That is a good sign, and that is a fat, fat fish. When a fish downs a bait like that, that means you could possibly be onto something. That was weird though, cause that didn't even feel like a, uh, a chatterbait bite. Like he just slurped that thing in 
and it almost felt like I got caught on weeds and then it was just weight. The excitement that I always have and then it just break down. I bet you if I did something ridiculous like throw a crankbait on a spinning rod, I'd for some odd reason start smacking them. And honestly, I'm about to try something ridiculous like that. What a hit, y'all. What a hit. That's a good one. That is a good fish right there. Six pound test. Little finesse spinner bait. Gotta play him just right. Ooh. Now that right there would be a nice keeper. Oh, this fish freaking cranked it. And this fish is cold. The first four fish I've caught today have all been really warm. And to the touch, this fish is freezing. Beautiful fish right there, guys. Check that out. Thank you for the bite, bud. Look at that. He's got like a cut on him. Freaking dudes out there battling. That would be a nice, nice keeper right there. My goodness. Absolutely smacked it. And I love catching freaking bass on spinner baits on ultralight gear. It's so much fun. Nothing is more fun than that freaking jolt hook set. And then you just got to play them right to get them in. Run this right down that bank. I and mean, this is like a perfect spinner bait area. Boom. Beautiful, just as expected. Stay down, bud, stay down. Oh, don't hang me up in there. Y'all, these fish are beautiful. Ooh, completely my fault. If a fish jumps, don't turn your rod because then you'll lose them. But at least I got to uh, battle with that fish for the majority of the way, so. And that is prime freaking spinner bait right down the side of this point. I didn't even get to retrieve it, y'all. I mean, that fish was sitting shallow, just right up there. Maybe in about a foot and a half of water. And the key to this spinner bait bite that I'm noticing is just slow freaking roll. Do not rush it. Just let that thing clack on the bottom, bump a lot of rock, create commotion. Just like everything today, I mean, that's how we've gotten all our fish, is just creating commotion and fishing really slow with moving baits. I'm just happy to be getting on a little bit of moving action, because this year has been kind of trashy for me in that aspect. I've not done well with moving baits this year. There's one. There's one, just rolling it right off that bank, super slow, micro. Micro dink. Tell you what, what a what a beast of a fish. What a beast of a hook. Oh my gosh, these fish up lake are so much cooler. Beautiful little bass. Future six pounder. That was crazy how freaking aggressive he hit. Dude smacked this thing like he was a solid little pounder. All right, y'all. So we gotta try to make something happen. I wanna get something on the big camera for you guys because the way that these bass are hitting the spinner bay is absolutely freaking obnoxious. No need for them to have to hit it that hard. I mean, they're crushing it. And all we're using is a little tiny finesse spinner bait right there. Little quarter ounce, kind of like a in-between blade of a Colorado and a willow leaf blade. I believe that's called a turtle blade. Not 100% sure, but we're gonna go out here. We're gonna try to get one on the big camera. Hmm. Of course, the second I try to get footage on the big camera, the fish are like, no, 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 no. We're not gonna cooperate. You can go screw off with your uh, filming nonsense. 